from SS Rune Kishishon. Your Excellency, Madam Chairman, I love your Louboutins. <laughs> Timely timekeeper, honorable mem members of the jury, misguided government, though I love your Louboutins too, <laughs> intelligent and experienced opposition, here, 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 here. ladies and gentlemen of the audience, here, here, here. well, I just heard about someone say how you cherish your memories. Well, yes, you do. But sometimes that's the point. That's the bad thing about experience. That's what, that's what makes conservatives. And that's what makes my grandma dress as if there we were in the 1950s. Shame. You know, I also heard about how happy experiences make you. But the motion says, more important, not happier. Shame. 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 One last thing I, I wanted to add is that, um, you know, <coughs> I'm not sure I will be as useful to science as Einstein was once I get to be 90 years old. Here, here. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like the members of this government are spending most of their lives living in a pastime paradise. As a successful Instagram blogger, I see that they're pretty reactionary and stuck in the mud. I mean, they really need to start using new technology, but well, that would force them to let go what they know. <laughs> now, moving on to my arguments. My first argument will be that experience is subjective and cannot be transmitted. And my second argument will be that experience is useless when something new comes up. For instance, yesterday, we were sitting around the campfire and Reverend White was like, this just a minute, is the ideal setting. <laughs> he was loving it when there was no socket for my charger, huge spiders everywhere, and worst of all, ladies and gentlemen, future handbags, or crocodiles as they call them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shane, let's go. Do you think you can shape the future without referring to past experiences? I do not think that, and this is or the point of our whole argument. Here, here. Here. So about Reverend Dwight, I first thought people like him are TripAdvisor's nightmare. But then I realized experience is absolutely subjective. Two people might live the same thing, but they will never, ever have the same experience. And there's no such thing as sharing experiences. I mean, my dad will never be able to explain, no thank you, how he felt watching Neil Armstrong walk on the moon as a kid. And you know what? He tried. A lot of times. <laughs> and saying, you will never be able to feel how I felt the day Kim Kardashian named her daughter North. <laughs> Not even to mention the day she didn't name her son South. <laughs> Because it is never understood by others. Go ahead. Uh, as, an, as an Instagram blogger, isn't sharing your experience that gives you so many followers? Here it yeah. is. It is, and I'm very happy to make money out of it, but I don't believe in it. Oh, sure. <laughs> And then said, 
I'm sorry, but there is no pan and no cooker. And I mean, in my experience, you need those to make an omelette. And that's the moment when nerdy guy there came, no thank you, and said, you know, maybe the van roof is hot enough. And so guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we made scrambled eggs on the roof of the van. On that point? No, thank you. I just want to say that this guy is so intelligent. I mean, look at his forehead.